Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we shall learn designing and using simulations to find probability. Now in our earlier sessions we have learnt about experimental probability and theoretical probability. Now experimental probability is an estimate of the actual probability and theoretical probability is the likeliness of an event happening And experimental probability is equal to number of times event actually occurs upon total number of trials. Now suppose in an experiment a coin is tossed 10 times that is number of trials is equal to 10 and from these 10 trials head appears six times. So experimental probability of getting a head is equal to six upon ten which is equal to zero point six and we know that theoretical probability of getting a head when we toss a coin is 1 upon 2 which is equal to 0 0.5. So experimental probability is an estimate of the actual probability and theoretical probability is the likeliness of an event happening. Now let us discuss how to perform simulations Because a large number of trials is often required to obtain an accurate estimate, it is sometimes helpful to use technology to simulate many trials of an experiment. Now simulations are performing actual experiments and then finding the probabilities of an event. Now we can perform simulations by using one or more objects like die, coin, marbles, spinner, etc. Now let us discuss an example and in this example it is given that Paula is better chess player than Lisa. She wins 2 by 3 of games played between herself and Lisa while Lisa wins only 1 by 3 of the games. Now suppose Paula and Lisa have to compete in a best of 10 game series in which a player who wins 6 games win the series. What is the probability that Paula wins the series? Now here a die will be used to simulate each game. Now since Paula wins 2 by 3 of games, so if a number 1, 2, 3 or 4 comes on rolling a die, then Paula wins that game. As here, the probability of getting a number 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 on a die is equal to 4 upon 6 that is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of outcomes 
and this is equal to 2 upon 3. So here we are getting the probability as 2 upon 3 which means if any of these numbers appears on a die then Paula wins the game. And also it is given that Lisa wins 1 by 3 of games. So if a number 5 or 6 appears on a die then Lisa wins that game. As here, the probability P of getting a number 5 or 6 on a die is equal to 2 upon 6 which is equal to 1 upon 3. So here we are getting the probability P as 1 upon 3 which means whenever the number 5 or 6 appears on the die then Lisa wins that game. Now, after forming the simulation, we will find the probability of Paula winning the game by performing this simulation. For this, we will follow the following steps. In the first step, we roll a die and assign the roll as a win to either Paula or Lisa. Continue rolling until one player has won six times. And in the second step, repeat the trial hundred times. And record the results which you have obtained in a table like this. Now here in the table, in the first column we have written the trials. In the second column we have written the rolls. 10 times and in the third column we have written the winner. Now we know that if a number 1, 2, 3 or 4 comes on the die then Paula wins the game and if a number 5 or 6 comes on a die then Lisa wins the game. Now in the first try you can see a die is rolled 10 times and here these outcomes are in favor of Paula it means a total of six outcomes are in favor of Paula it means Paula wins in the first trial similarly Paula wins in the second trial also now in the third trial you can see that these outcomes are in favor of Lisa that is these six outcomes are in favor of Lisa it means Lisa wins in the third trial and similarly we will repeat the trial hundred times now in the next step we will estimate the probability that Paula will win the series now the total number of trials is 100. Now suppose in 100 trials Paula wins 70 games then probability that Paula wins is equal to 70 upon 100 which is equal to 0 0.70. Now this is our required answer. Now let us discuss some important remarks. Now when we say that Paula wins 2 by 3 of games, then it means that expected probability or theoretical probability that Paula wins the series is 2 upon 3. That is why we chose four numbers from six on a die in favor of Paula and here the experimental probability is equal to 0 0.70 that 
that is the experimental probability that Paula wins the series is 0 0.70. Now the theoretical or expected probability is equal to 2 upon 3 which is equal to 0 0.666 or 66.6%. .6 and experimental probability is equal to 0 0.70 or 70%. Now here both the probabilities are very close to each other and as the number of trials will increase it would get closer to expected value. So in this session we have learned how to design a simulation and to draw results from them. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.